This is Mr. Beck. Mr. Beck does your homework. This is AP Physics, homework 2.1, question number 8. A tennis ball with a velocity of 7.85 meters per second to the right is thrown perpendicularly at a wall. After striking the wall, the ball rebounds in the opposite direction with a velocity of negative 6.16 meters per second to the left. So what's happening here is I've got the tennis ball. It starts off going this way, it hits the wall, and it ends up going this way. So this one is positive velocity 7.85 meters per second. And my final velocity is in the other direction, left, so we call that negative 6.16 meters per second. Now it says, if the ball is in contact with the wall for 0 0.011 seconds, what is the average acceleration of the ball while it is in contact with the wall? So what I've got is my initial velocity of positive 7.85 meters per second. I've got a final velocity of negative 6.16 meters per second. I have a time of contact is 0 0.011 seconds, and I'm looking for my acceleration. Now this is tricky, because how much is this ball changing velocity? It's going from 7.85 in one direction to 6.16 in the other direction. So you might initially think, oh, 7.8, 6.1, that's going to be about, I don't know, what, 1.6 or so? But 1.6, if I only change velocity by 1.6, it would still be going to the right at 6.16 meters per second. And that's not the case. It's actually come all the way to a stop, getting rid of all of that speed, and then turned around and started going the other direction. If you plotted these on a number line, you would see that 7.85 is going to be over here somewhere, 0 is going to be somewhere over here, and negative 6.16 is going to be over here. So what is this distance? What is that amount? That's going to be big. It's going to be 7 plus 6. It's going to be about 13, 14-ish, right? So keep that in mind as we do this problem. Now, what's my equation? My acceleration is my final velocity minus my initial velocity divided by the amount of time. So let's see what that is. My acceleration is my final velocity. My final velocity is negative 6.16. Negative 6.16. Minus my initial velocity is 7.85. So it's minus another 7.85 divided by my time 0 0.011 seconds. Now see, negative 6 minus another negative 7, I'm going to get negative 13, negative 14 point something, right? So that's going to be a negative number, that's going to be something, and uh, when you divide it, you're going to get some big negative number here, some huge negative number, and your units are going to be meters per second squared. But be careful, don't turn this into about a 1, it's going to be about a 14-ish in my case. So be very careful with your signs when plugging into this acceleration equation.